is going to be a short demonstration of the Liquid Dev UI and what you can do there. So let's navigate uh, first to this address and then connect MetaMask. And once this is done, you will be presented with this screen, with this dashboard. On the top right, you have your balance in ETH, which matches your uh, MetaMask balance and your liquidity. We haven't taken out any loans, so our liquidity is zero. Important thing, uh, when you first log in, MetaMask will most likely, most likely show you the main net. But since we are not live, you need to uh, choose a test net instead. So um, the main operations are, of course, opening a new trove, which means taking out a loan in liquidity, making a stability deposit to the, to the stability pool, and redeeming your collateral. So changing liquidity back for the collateral, which is going to be, going to be if in our case. So the first thing we're going to do is take out a loan, get ourselves some uh, liquidity. So for example, let's put uh, 0.1 ETH in here. And as you can see, uh, right now you can open a new trove, but this will just open a trove with ETH in it. It, it won't give you any liquidity for that. You need to specify how much liquidity you actually want. And as we are typing this in, you see the collateral ratio below changes. And for example, let's settle for 25. And just clicking a new trove, opening a new trove, we'll change those values here. Now you can see that this changed to my liquidity trove. So this is now an active trove participating in the system. And it also deducted ETH, 0.1 ETH from balance and added to the 25 liquidity which you've uh, taken out. Very important to keep an eye on your collateral ratio because if it falls below 110%, your trove will be liquidated. This means that you will lose your collateral but you will still keep your uh, liquidity. So you won't lose all of your assets, but you will lose a good chunk of it, about 10%. Let's have a look at how the liquidation process works in a bit more detail. So here we have a graphic. Those are troves. Blue is ETH, red is liquidity, and we have a stability pool. The stability pool is uh, all of the liquidity which has been deposited by uh, users to repay any debt during liquidations. But the stability pool doesn't contain only liquidity, it contains also ETH. And the ETH is funneled in from the liquidations. So when a trove is liquidated, the ETH from the trove goes to this common uh, to this common ETH pool. So when a trove becomes under collateralized, liquidity in the pool is burned to offset its debt and its collateral, its ETH, is funneled into the ETH pool. And now the trove can get liquidated. So what happens with the ETH? All the liquidity pool, uh, stability pool depositors obviously make a deposit, will get a chunk of the pie, which is uh, potential to how much they deposited. So let's make a practical example of how this works. Um, we have uh, 25 liquidity, so let's deposit a little bit into it, into the stability pool. And in the next step, we will make a liquidation and see what we gain. Right, so that's now our stability deposit. We have 10 liquidity, we do not have any ETH because no troves have been liquidated yet. Now as mentioned, only troves 
under 110% can be liquidated. And we see that in this list, all of them are quite far away from, from this uh, area. So we need to do a bit of price manipulation to achieve that. So we will drop the price of ETH so that the riskiest drove becomes under collateralized. Of course, once on mainnet, this will be uh, a price feed from an Oracle. But for test purposes, this works very well. And now we can see that we indeed have a trove which is up for liquidation at 107. And we need, so the liquidation process will uh, repay this liquidity debt and funnel this ETH into the stability pool and we will get a chunk of it. So uh, you'll see this, uh, those values will change. So let's liquidate it. So you'll see this trove will disappear and the values here will change. So a chunk of our stability deposit has been uh, taken out from it and we got some ETH back and we should have made about 7% uh, gain. Then you can uh, withdraw this ETH to your uh, balance or transfer it over to the trove. Another important concept to understand are redemptions. This basically means that any liquidity holder can at any given time redeem or exchange their liquidity for the underlying collateral. Now the question is, where does that ETH come from? And the answer is from the riskiest troves. So our trove is actually the, risk, or the riskiest. So if anyone wants to uh, get themselves uh, some ETH, it will be taken from our trove. So Alice wants some ETH. The system takes it from the uh, riskiest trove. And if this is not enough, it moves on to the next, to the next, and so on. So in practice, if someone wants 10 ETH, uh, sorry, wants to exchange 10 ETH, it would take 0 0.03 from this uh, trove, but it would also remove 10 liquidity. So the collateral ratio would actually go up and hence the collateral ratio of the whole system would improve. Now let's make a little example. Uh, because we are actually the riskiest trove, I will move over to another account. So let's redeem some uh, collateral. Whoops. So we have 2.31 here. So you can't, you can't exchange more. If you go five, you don't have enough liquidity. So this liquidity, this liquidity, cannot be exchanged. This is locked in. If you want to exchange this liquidity, you first need to um, remove it from the stability pool by lowering the number. And then you can, you can redeem it. So just a short intermezzo. So, but we can redeem two liquidity. So let's see what happens here. So 0 0.0067 should be removed from this trove, but also two liquidity should be removed from this trove. And this is exactly what happened. So if you don't want to um, lose your ETH, even do not, you do not really lose any assets. Uh, again, keep your collateral ratio high. So those would be the main functions of the dashboard. Feel free to play around with it, test it out. Um, as mentioned, you can always deposit more ETH to your trove, or you can take out more liquidity, but of course, not over 110% uh, ratio. But what actually happens if you want to close your trove? Uh, then you need to repay all of the liquidity, which, uh, which is your debt. And you don't have enough right now. So to have enough, you first have to close your stability pool. 
that close your stability pool deposit or withdraw from it to be more precise. Here we go. And now you can repay your debt and withdraw your liquidity. Ah, uh, sorry, withdraw your uh, ETH, of course. And that's it.